a trichothyrotomy. I put the page number on there because a lot of people, they get kind of confused with regards to needle criking versus open trichothyrotomy. Both can be used. Don't get it twisted. Now, this is in the Nancy Caroline 8th edition textbook, page 880 through 883. They're talking about needle crikes. To needle crike somebody, it's much easier than an open cricothyrotomy, but understand this. If you needle crike somebody, you need a jet ventilator to ventilate the patient. It wasn't always that way. They used to say that, oh yeah, you can needle crike, but that whole thing kind of changed over the years. Probably rightfully so because people weren't getting ventilated enough. They were hypoventilating people because you got to think of how narrow those needles are compared to an actual 22 millimeter adapter. Huge difference. But when should we be considering cricothyrotomy? If I'm unable to ventilate somebody and I tried everything, I cannot ventilate them, we have to crike. It's a last resort. You must know that. It is always going to be a last resort. Cricothyrotomy, either open or needle. Both are acceptable. Now, your protocols where you work might say you have to needle crike children under the age of 10 and whatever. I don't care what your protocol says. Um, you can needle crike adults too. But you need to have this ventilator. And I can even read an excerpt out of this page because I have the book with me right now. Here's uh, advantages and disadvantages of a needle crike. Um, it says, disadvantages exist to performing a needle crike using a smaller bore tube, such as an over-the-needle IV catheter, because now they're talking about 14 or 16 gauge needle crikes. Uh, to ventilate the patient does not provide protection from aspiration like a cuffed EVT tube would. That is a problem, right? There's no cuff on it. Um, then it also says, uh, it also would not fill the diameter of the trachea, protecting it from aspiration. This technique requires a specialized high-pressure jet ventilator to provide adequate tidal volume. This jet ventilator will expend high volumes of oxygen rapidly. So if you do not have a jet ventilator, technically you're not supposed to be using a needle cricothyrotomy.